Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my March favorites. I'm pretty sure the last favorites video I did was my April favorites of last year, so it's been a minute. I'm not sure if you can tell, but I am now in a new location again. Um, I did move finally to my own place. Um, I just felt like my last place that I was just wasn't doing it for me. I wasn't happy. I wasn't really myself, so I moved to a place and it's all decorated exactly the way I want it to and it's so me and I'm so happy where I am right now. But I thought I would just update you with my favorites and my first favorite is my hair. I'm so happy with it. I've had the same hair style cut everything for the past almost four years now. And I was just kind of over it. I wanted a change. And since Ciao Bella, my favorite YouTuber ever, she's so cute. When she cut her hair, I said, you know, maybe I can cut my hair too. So that's what I did. And I'm absolutely obsessed. My first favorite is the double wear. I'm not sure if I've talked about this before on my channel, but I'm so obsessed with it. I know it's kind of ranted and raved about. And some people love it. Some people hate it. But I find that this is literally the best foundation ever. I have dabbled in a whole bunch of different ones, but I always come back to this. I recently bought a new bottle like a month or two ago, and I don't know why I ever stopped using it because it is the only thing. My skin is such a mess these days, and it is the only thing that will cover it, everything and not break me out. Another favorite is the Becca Backlighting Primer. Um, this one is really nice just because that I find it gives you a really nice kind of glow on your skin. She'll just kind of give you a subtle glow rather than something super in your face, over the top kind of. So I really like this one as well. My next favorite is my Stay Matte Pressed Powder from Rimmel. I've gone through so many of these throughout the years. Um, I recently just picked one up maybe two months ago. I have no clue why I stopped using it. I've already hit pan on this one. It doesn't give you too much coverage, it doesn't alter your foundation at all. It's just a perfect setting powder to stay matte, as it says. My next favorite is this NARS blush. This one was one of the limited edition ones. I'm not sure if you can still get it, um, but it is just the, it's called Impassioned. Yeah, it's called Impassioned. It's just a really nice pale pink kind of color, perfect for hella pale people such as myself. And it's really pigmented as well. Just gives you a nice little bit of color on your skin, which is really nice. My next favorite is the Lash Sensational by Maybelline. I've had this for a super long time, actually. I've probably had it for six months-ish. I did like it when I first got it, but I just kind of rediscovered it. I really don't like, like, lumpy lashes or, like, anything super, like long and spiky like the spidery ones uh, i'm not into that but this one is really nice just because it kind of gives you the brush looks like that and it kind of gives you just like a nice feathered out but long kind of look which is really nice and it's pretty cheap you don't have to go overboard with anything my next favorite is the chocolate bonbons i love it so much it's so pretty first got it on unboxing day i wanted it so bad and it went out of stock so quickly and I just kind of put off getting it but I recently got it and I use it pretty much every day like the shadows are so pigmented this pink one is literally my fave I'm so obsessed and the packaging is pink with little hearts on it so that's really cute too the two faced ones I feel just blend out the best they have the best pigmentation um and obviously like the they smell like chocolate this is the last face favorite before I get into the lip stuff because I have, oh wait, no I have one more face product and then I'll get into the lips because I have a few different ones. But this is the Marc Jacobs, this is the highliner, I think. I'm not sure if this is the highliner or not. It's like, there's one that has like stripies on it and then there's this one, I'm pretty sure this one's the highliner. And it comes in like an array of every color under the sun and it is literally the perfect, most pigmented, most black eyeliner that you can get in a pencil form. Like the pigmentation on that is phenomenal. And it's so nice and so black and it stays on the waterline and I'm literally obsessed with it. 
My last face favorite is my Bluer Eyelashes. These ones are in Fluff and Dolled Up. Yeah, they're the ones I'm wearing on my eyes right now. I really, I really couldn't bring myself to spend $35 on a pair of eyelashes for the longest time and then I decided I would just splurge and do it and I'm so happy I did. These ones I've worn probably at least 10 times and they're still, I think, in pretty good condition and every time I wear them I get so many compliments and so many people asking what my eyelashes are. I know a lot of people really hesitate to spend $35 on a pair of eyelashes but I'm really happy that I did because they're such great quality and they look so nice on the eyes. I have valuable lip products. Yes. Okay. First lip product I'm going to talk about is the Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color. This one is... These are just so nice. Like I feel... The smell, they smell like cherry pie or something, and they smell so good. This one's in the color, what color is this one? Is his name? Oh, Seduction. That's what the color is. Obviously it's nude, because I love my nudes. But like the color payoff is so nice, and I find that it's just not drying at all on the lips, which is really nice for a liquid lipstick. It doesn't stay quite as long as some others that you can get, but I feel just for like the comfort on your lips and it does stay a decent amount of time. I think that everybody should pick these up. I don't personally want to get like every color of these. The next are my Anastasia liquid lipsticks. I just have the four colors. Um, I have the colors Pure Hollywood, Party Pink, yeah, Milkshake, and then this is American Doll. So I have these ones. Um, for those of you that don't know, we could not get Anastasia in Canada for the longest time um, and they recently just got released to Sephora so thankfully we got most of the Anastasia line, not all of it but a lot of it. So I picked up four of, four of the liquid lipstick colors and I'm so obsessed with this formula. They are so far superior to the Kat Von D and like all the other liquid lipsticks that you can buy these ones are so good they're so matte and they stay on forever like the only way you can get these off is with a makeup wipe and makeup remover and that's it like they do not come off when i eat and when i'm working for eight hours i ain't got no time to put on new lipstick so this these are my lifesavers i'm so obsessed and i'm literally probably gonna buy the entire collection because these are clearly not enough for me. My last makeup favorite are the Bite Amuse Douche lipsticks. Um, I have the color Souffle, which is a very light baby pink. And then I also have Molasses, which is the perfect, 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 perfect brown nude which is a color that I was looking for forever. I love the formula of these. They have like 10 oils or something in it like that. And they are so glossy and are so comfortable on the lips. But the best part about them is, is when they, like the gloss and everything wears off, you're still left with the color payoff. And that is like perfect as well, just because if you don't have time to touch up your lip, you don't have it like smearing all over the place and like that weird like line that you get on the outside and then the inside is like not colored, you don't get that from these. And the color selection is so bomb. The one random favorite that I have this month is the guacamole. It's Yucat Yucatan, you Yucatan. I have no clue, but it is so good. I, they come with, there's two kinds. There's this one and there's like a spicy flavor kind, I think. Mine's just regular, but this is so good. I've been so into guacamole lately and this you can just like put on like, you can obviously eat it with like dip. I like putting this on like a sandwich with like um, a poached egg is super, super, super good. Um, but I'm just like obsessed with this stuff. It's so easy to eat and I feel like it's like organic. So I guess it's kind of good for you. I guess, maybe, probably not, but it's well worth it. Alright, now for my unfavorites of the month. Um, I only have four, which is not too bad, but I'm just going to jump right into it. Um, the first one is the Sephora Collection. It's the Bright Future Gel Serum Concealer. The formula of this really is not bad at all, and the color selection is really great, but 
the one downside like i wish they would just like upgrade or something this fucking applicator let me just show you this this thing is like hard as a rock it does not like it doesn't move it's not flexible like it's like literally using a q-tip and putting this on your face it's atrocious i hate it the next unfavorite is the Marc Jacobs. This is a new mascara. It's like Velvet Noir, I think. Velvet Noir, yeah. The model's really nice. It's very like chic and like it's like a prism kind of. It's kind of cool. I said previously I like the fluffy, like kind of, I like the fluffy lashes. I don't like no spidery lashes and this is what that is. It gives you spidery lashes. It's so like runny and thick, the formula, that it just like clumps together and it I don't know, I'm going to keep trying it and maybe I can like find a way to work with it but I've used it a few times and I just like every time it just clumps my lashes together and I really just, I, I can't, I, I just don't like it. My next um, favorite is the Melted Chocolate. This one is the Metallic Lipstick and this one is Metallic Chocolate Diamonds. Okay, so before we got these in we didn't have, or when we got these in we didn't have testers and I really just wanted to try one out and I love the original melted chocolate metallic liquid lipsticks by Too Faced. They're so nice and so pigmented and like it gives a nice like it's a metallic, it's a sheen. It looks nice. This one I bought it and I was so mad because we didn't have testers and since I work at Sephora we're not technically allowed to return things unless it's like damaged or something like that so obviously I can't return it. I might just have to give it to somebody like my cousin or something because this is just straight up glitter like you might as well just like pack a loose glitter on your lips and call it a day my last unfavorite is um the spare minerals palette let's be real they're all really not that good especially the price i think this one's like 50 bucks so like almost as much as a naked palette and like ugh, it just really is not that good i really was so excited about this one because the colors are just so neutral and versatile, but the pigment on these is just garbage. Like, let me just swatch some of these for you. I'm not a swatch in space. So right here. Like it's there, but for the price, it's just not that good. And I don't know, I was really disappointed. Like there's the vanilla shade and you can hardly see that shit. This one, this shimmery shade's not bad, but I just find I don't reach for this one at all. Um, kind of a waste of money, but you know, it's what I was, I guess. So definitely, if you're thinking of getting a Bare Minerals palette, get something a little bit better. Like, I really like their blushes and stuff, but this, these eyeshadow palettes, just like, they look really nice, and they look like they could be really great for traveling, especially for the size, but for the pigmentation, it's not worth it. Just... Spend the extra $10, $15 and get an Urban Decay one and save yourself the money and the hassle of trying to make this work. And that is everything for my March favorites. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, let me know in the down bar and I will list everything that I mentioned, favorites and non-favorites, in the down bar. If you're interested, you can take a look at those. Thanks everyone for watching. See you later.